Well, someone asked me the other day, how do I put the canoe on the roof of my vehicle by myself? I'm gonna show you right now. But first, to leave it up here, if you got a brand new vehicle, you might want to put a little bit of a bumper here so you don't scratch your vehicle. But yeah, it's like a lean-to. And uh, we we'll start with that, then do this. I have a two canoe rack system, meaning I can put two canoes side by side if I want. It's great, except when you hit your head on this when you get out of the car. <laughs> uh, I'm not using two canoes tomorrow, I'm using just one. So I'm going to slide this over this way before we tie it down. Why not in the middle? I want something to brace it. Uh, I also don't want it in front of me while I'm driving. I just like it onto the right. Uh, some people like it on the left, some people like it in the middle. I find if you put it in the middle, it will loosen up a bit after a while when it gets windy on the highway. So yeah, up to the side, away from the driver's view. Right, now I'm going to tie it on. I use straps for the top. You can use ropes if you want, if you don't have straps. I just like straps, they're easy. If you do use ropes, you have to learn how to do what's called the trucker's hitch. And I'm going to show you that in a minute because I use that for the back and front. But I just like strapping it down on the top. These things last quite a while too. I think I bought these straps in the mid 90s. I'm still using them. All right. Do the same to this one. Key thing too is you don't want the part where the, the strap is going through this part too high, too low. You want it about here. Gives you more tension because eventually on the highway this thing's gonna loosen up a bit. So you wanna get out and then pull it back down again. But put it here, put it here, it will loosen quicker. I don't know why, but it does. Now I'm going to tie the back. Each vehicle is different. Where you're going to tie down. I'm lucky on this vehicle. I've got two holes underneath the middle bar here. <laughs> so I use those. Sometimes you have to go under uh, lower. Uh, sometimes you have to create something. I don't know. But hopefully you've got somewhere to tie down here. Something solid too. Use rope that doesn't stretch. Parachute cord, don't go cheap on rope, okay? You don't want it to stretch, because if it stretches, that, that's gonna loosen after a while, and you have to retie again. So, the trucker's hitch. Make a loop, put the bunny ear through the loop. Do it one more time so it doesn't slip on you, okay? Feed this through here. And man, that's gonna be tight. Use the slip knot to hold it like that. Okay? So if you have to re-tighten it when you're driving and it gets loose, that's why the trucker's hitch is awesome. Practice that. You'll use this knot a lot. And now the front. 
I have straps that are bolted down here. You can buy these, you can make these, but basically all cars have holes along the side here. You just put a bolt and a strap there and there. Why? Because I don't want my ropes pulling down on this and breaking it. And this is really, really handy. Watch this. Tie one end on. I use a fisherman's knot. Basically, you twist the snake around the tree about six times. Snake head through the hole. Just like tying a, a hook to the line. Put it through here. Another trucker's hitch. So don't do the trucker's hitch down low here. Don't do it too high but in between. That gives a good leverage. You know what I mean when you start practicing it. That slip knot to hold it. But again, the why I like using the slip knot, slip knot is if you really need to get out and retie it again, slip knot is called a slip knot because it's easy to slip. tie back on really quick okay I like doubling a slip knot too just in case that <laughs> slips and then get rid of the extra and that thing ain't going anywhere get a nice slip knot at the end there that's how I put a canoe on my vehicle by myself and I take it off the exact opposite you really do need front and back ropes with ropes over the or, or straps over the top as well because the canoe is going to go like this in the wind especially on the highway behind a truck and you want to hold these two ends down it helps a lot so take your time and do back tie front tie top ties two top ties and you shouldn't have a problem time to go canoeing